Hi! In this episode of Toys Bag Zen, I'm going on another road trip. I was planning on going to a toy show that's really close to me. It's in the Ancaster Fairgrounds. It's about half an hour away, 20 minutes away. And I got online this morning before I left and noticed there was two other toy shows happening. One in Oakville, which is uh, about a half an hour in the opposite direction, and one in Toronto, which would be about an hour from where I live. So I decided to go to the Oakville one first and check that out. If it was not that great, then I would head to the Toronto one. But if it was really good, then I was going to go from there and backtrack back home to the Ancaster uh, Toys and Collectibles. So we're going to go to the Oakville one first. It's going to take us a while to get there. We'll fast forward this video and we'll get you to Oakville and we'll check it out and see what they have there. And here we are, we're at the toy show. It's a pretty small show, but let's go and check it out. Sometimes looks can be deceiving. And if you're a Mego toy collector or a toy collector that likes to watch YouTube videos, you'll recognize some of these books and that voice in the background. Yes, it's Brian from Brick Man Tooth. I bought a toy from him and a couple books, and he was gracious enough to take a picture with me. So thanks, Brian, for uh, having a great conversation today, and I uh, hope to see you again some other time. Alright guys, well that was the show in Oakville, had a really good time in there, that was a Canadian Toy Con, and uh, I had a surprise where I met Brian from Brick Mantooth, check out his YouTube channel, he's all about Mego, and uh, I bought a couple of books from him, I got a signed book, and uh, I also got some really cool toys, we'll check those out, we're on our way to Ancaster.
Cool stuff. Never seen those before. These are really nice. Whew, those are really cool. Trying to yeah, guess that. If it's, if it's, was it in the evenings? These ones are, are better stores. These ones are just coming to GameStop. I've had these for a couple of days. That's really cool. And this seller here had a laser disc. I've never seen that. Before. Probably from the 80s or late 90s. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Just a super neat piece I've never seen before. That was a cool toy show. We're back outside. I got some cool stuff. Not a toy show for every toy collector. There is a lot of other things there. A lot of die cast if you're not a Hot Wheels collector or anything like that. And a lot of cards and uh, a lot of other different kinds of collectibles. But I always do find something really good at this one. And I actually did. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think I purchased before I show you the reveal. I'm on my way home now, it's another 20 minutes home, and uh, when I get there, I'm gonna put everything out on the table and show you what I got. All right, I'm back at the house, and I'm back in the video room, and I wanna show you what I got at these two toy shows. Now, there was three toy shows. There was one in Toronto. It's not that it's that far, it's just the fact that you have to drive probably through the city to get to the toy show. And, well, I got quite a bit of stuff at the Oakville place. I felt I was happy with my purchases there. I didn't feel like I needed to go all the way to Toronto to the other one. And I still wanted to make my way back to Ancaster, which I did. So let me show you what I did pick up. I did get a fair amount of stuff and I got a lot of things that I wasn't expecting I was going to find, which is what I love about toy shows. So the first thing I did was I walked into the Oakville show and I found some, uh, G.I. Joe vehicle parts. I do need one of these. I know that the tab is broken off of that, but I have an old beat up Firefly and uh, it's missing the canopy. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty cheap. I didn't pay a lot for these parts. I have the Tiger Force Tiger Cat. And uh, there's the missile. I think the missiles that I have on mine are orange. So, and then I found a complete Dungeons and Dragons. This is the vintage Dungeons and Dragons War Duke. <laughs> now, you may be like, what? He's complete, but here's his head. And uh, his head just fell off. So we're going to have to fix that guy. Put him right there. We're going to have to fix him. And the nice thing was, I got his shield 
and his sword. I picked up the whole figure for $15. I thought that was really reasonable. And the fact that I could just uh, repair the head because I know how to do that. It's going to be a really quick fix. And now I'm going to have a complete War Duke in my collection. And I'm really happy to have that. At the same show, I came across this figure here. And I haven't been able to find these figures anywhere. I haven't bought a reaction figure for a long time. And most of these reaction figures that I did buy from this uh, from this show, they are ones I've never been able to find in the wild. So this is the Snake Eyes, the Secret Service Snake Eyes. He's in that light blue. He's not even on the back cover. Well, he is right here, but that is a different version of him. That's the dark blue or the purple, and this is the light blue. I like I like the uh, vintage-looking AK-47 that they put in there. That's what it looks like anyway. So uh, there's that. I'm really happy to have that in the collection. At the same show, I picked up these. They actually were $15 with the uh, the plastic shell cases. Um, yeah, I thought that was amazing. That's cheaper than what you can buy them in the store here in Canada. So I should have bought way more, but I've never been able to find these in the toy stores. There's uh, the Snakeling, and then I have... The G.I. Joe female soldier, the combat engineer. She's the red hair version with the ponytail. Really cool figure. And um, again, I paid $15 a piece for them. And you can see here that we've got the Firefly Snakeling. Where some of, some of these figures here are not even on the other cover so of the Snake Eyes. So these ones were the next wave, I think, after that. This Funko Panthro. It's in the style of the vintage He-Man figures. I do have one other one of these that I got on my summer trip last summer. Which one did I get? I had Mumra. So I have Mumra now. And now I have Panthro. So I'm not really actively um, out seeking these figures. But I just thought it was he was neat. And probably stick with that he was only $15 and I thought that was fair when I was coming into the building I thought I saw Brian from Brick Mantooth I've been a subscriber to his channel for years and I really enjoy watching him talk about Mego and all the knockoffs that he really enjoys picking up and he has written a lot of books he's got a knockoffs book that I bought from him and he's got a magazine that he has and I bought one of those too. I got a picture here. I'll show you a picture here of him. And I went in, I saw his booth. We chatted for quite a long time about toys and about, you know, making videos and our toy ventures and stuff like that. And he signed the book. He's got the hardcover knockoffs book. It's a really beautiful book and it's just uh, amazing pictures in there. And some amazing stuff that he had in there. After I chatted with Brian, I came back to his to his uh, table after I bought the books, and he had some of the Mego uh, figures that they're reissuing here. And here is the Medusa. And I just think that she's awesome with the soft goods. And the, all the snakes on her head. Just a really cool piece. And uh, I'm really happy to have this in my collection. It also gave me, along with the Medusa and the books and everything, I got Mr. Rock Cosmic Space Flyer. Lincoln International. I don't know what this is, but it has Toy Ventures magazine on the back. Artwork by Chris Franklin. Fire and Water Podcast. What is this? Anyway, is it one of those like foam foam uh, planes? 
<laughs> this is awesome. Am I supposed to open it? I don't know if I'm supposed to open it, but that's okay. I'm opening it. There's a little pin there that I couldn't find, but now I found it. <laughs> that's hilarious. We got Mr. Spock. Who doesn't even look like Mr. Spock? He's definitely a knockoff character as a plane. That's really funny. Love it. Thank you, Brian. After I bought War Duke with a broken head, I was walking around the toy show, and you may have seen it in the beginning of the video. There was two other vendors who had vintage D&D &D figures. And the second vendor I saw, he was selling them like 5 to $10. So I got this guy. I think he was five dollars. I picked up the little elf. I mean, he's missing all of his accessories. They don't really articulate very well. Not a lot. More than five points, though. But this guy's got a cape, and he's got some weapons. He's missing all of those. But I just think they're really fun. And maybe I could make a cape for that figure. I got this guy. <laughs> he looks really bad shape. He's got all that ink on his face and stuff. See if I can get that ink off. I don't know if his crotch is broken there or it's just how it was made. It looks like it's the tip of the crotch is a little broken. But I think I got him for $5 too. And I picked up this figure. Really cool. These villains are really cool. I really like them. So I got him. And it's really neat how they're all different sizes. They're really small. This guy is quite big. Uh, this guy is kind of in between. So it's a huge range of, of sizes to the figures. This guy must be a giant... And then we've got this guy here who is like a knight. I don't remember these guys' names. And it always, it, I always thought that this guy had articulated knees, but it's just they must have been glued together. So it's interesting. I've never played with these as a kid. I didn't have them. I didn't know anybody else that had them. But I've always been interested in picking them up. And uh, LJN 1983. No, that would have been right when I was playing with G.I. Joe's and Transformers. So that's awesome. So now I got a pretty good collection of LJN D&D &D figures. And uh, that's that's amazing. They There was a guy and he had probably 12 D&D &D figures. And they were pretty much all complete. Capes, weapons, shields everything and if you go back in my video at the beginning you'll see i took a video of that because i was amazed at the collection he had there but at 60 to 80 dollars a figure they were a little bit out of my price range where i paid about 35 dollars i think for all of these so that was everything that i picked up at the oakville toy show and then of course i went to a second show i didn't buy a lot there but I did buy some cool pieces. So let's see what I have here. So when I first walked in, I saw this cat. He was $2. I just thought he was cool. And he's definitely going to go in my He-Man um, Masters of the Universe collection. I'll put him in there. Put him over here somewhere. Now, the next thing I got, and this, I am so super excited to get this figure finally i paid up for him and i think i got a good i got a good price for him this is a uh, vintage kenner star wars this is the last figure off of the 77 back card that i did not have he is complete he's in really good condition and he is the Lando Calrissian skiff guard. He's complete with his weapon and his helmet. Really good paint on him. He's in pretty good condition.
And then I picked up this part for my Millennium Falcon. It's the Kenner Millennium Falcon part and it's for the dish. There's three pieces for the to make the dish on top of the Falcon and I saw this sitting there and the guy sold it to me so I was grateful for that. So hopefully I can find the third piece that I am looking for. The next thing that uh, I picked up is a huge box. It's brand new. Let me take a few minutes and make some room here to get it into the shot. And here it is here. It's the reissue of the TMNT Playmates Party Van. Playmates are making them. And it's pretty much from what I can tell the same mold as the vintage one that Playmates originally made. You can see all the box art here. It's really nice. The box is in great condition. The guy that sold this to me kept saying that this hasn't been released yet. And uh, he said that, I said, well, where did you get it if it hasn't been released yet? And he said he knew somebody. So I don't know what he was talking about because this van has had come out already. And I thought I've seen people make videos of it. So I'm gonna do a box opening of this item and I'm going to uh, put it together and I'll do a separate video on that. This was really fun. I had a great day. I've been out since nine o'clock and here it is about five o'clock in the afternoon. But I'm really happy with the things I picked up. So thanks for watching this episode of Toys Bag Zen. Happy toy hunting and take care.